It's important that you understand the structure of the heart before you can go into the details of what causes the heartbeat sound. And in particular, you need to know that there are four sets of valves. And these valves are there to prevent backflow of blood. The first set are called the atrioventricular valves, and these are named just because they are between the atria and the ventricles. And then the next set are known as the semilunar valves, and these are at the bases of the arteries that leave the heart, and that's the pulmonary artery and the aorta. So let's look at what's going to happen as blood flows through the heart. First of all, it's going to enter from the superior and inferior vena cava, as well as through the pulmonary vein. It's going to go from the atria as they contract and into the ventricles. From there, the ventricles are going to contract, and this is going to force blood upwards. The only problem is, while it's, it's aiming to go upwards and through the arteries, it's going to go upwards in every direction, and this is going to include a backflow into the atria. Fortunately, because of the presence of the atrioventricular valves, they will close, they'll do it with a thud sound, and then the blood will be prevented from going backwards into the atria. The next step is that after the ventricles have contracted, blood has now left the heart and it's gone towards the lungs and to the rest of the body. And then there's going to be this attempt at backflow of blood back into the heart because the pressure that's forcing it outwards has been reduced. Fortunately, the presence of the semilunar valves prevents this. As there's any attempt at backflow, they will then close with a thud. This whole thing repeats over and over and over again with every movement of the heart, and this is what creates that heartbeat sound. Let's look at the way you might get assessed on this topic. You might get asked in an exam to describe how the structure of the heart prevents backflow. First thing, always highlight the command word. In this case, it's a describe question. So, here's an answer you might go for. When the muscles in the walls of the ventricles contract, blood is prevented from entering the atria by the atrioventricular valves. Now then, this is the first part of the structure that's relevant, and there's probably a mark available for naming those valves. Then you might also get a mark for saying where they are found, and this is between the atria and the ventricles. Next, after the ventricles have contracted, after the muscles in the ventricles have contracted, and then they have relaxed, blood would flow back into the heart, but then this is prevented by the presence of the semilunar valves. And then you might even get a mark for saying where these are located, and that's at the base of the aorta and the pulmonary artery. So there are four possible points, and it's a three-mark question, so easily you'll get all three marks there. Mm -hmm.